Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. And yes, you might recognize me and my family from four years ago when we went all into Bitcoin after selling literally everything we owned. In today's video, of course, bombing you with some really cool Bitcoin charts, also showing you the bam bam results. And yes, talking about some really cool blockchain news that is showing us why Bitcoin is going to be really big in the future. And the blockchain news part today, guys, is dedicated to this. First, they ignore Bitcoin. Then they laugh at Bitcoin. Then they start to hate Bitcoin. Then they start to fight Bitcoin. And then they give up and Bitcoin wins. And everything in the blockchain news part will be about these five sentences. Enjoy today's video, guys. Bam! <laughs> No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil was on my trail. I've been running. It is a cloudy day today guys in Lagos, it's a little bit rainy even, but still like 17 degrees, so I can't complain, I'm still walking with a t-shirt, and I'm still walking with my flip-flops, yes, and of course my shorts, so uh, not complaining at all, but it's getting a poco frio, a little bit cold, um, so please, clouds, go away, I need sun, I need sun on my skin, I need vitamin D, because I need to fight some kind of flu that everybody is talking about, or joking about, or not believing, or believing, I don't care, you know, whatever you think. Let's start first with the Bitcoin part, guys, the Bitcoin TA part, the part where I bomb you with really cool Bitcoin charts. Let's start with this chart, the one hour chart. Bam! In this one hour chart, you can see we touched the support around 17,900 US dollar and we bounced up again. So we are now around 18,200, 300 US dollar. So it is very exciting to see what Bitcoin will do. Will we bounce up higher again or will we continue this drop even lower than 17,900, maybe even to 7? 17,000 or even 16,200 or 500 we don't know yet we need to wait for confirmation and there is still a lot of volume and there is still a lot of people buying up bitcoins so let's see what will happen if we bounce yes we will go back to the 20k level if we don't bounce and we break this level we can fall all the way down all the way down to 17,000 or 16,500 US dollar as that is the next support just be prepared to buy the dip because I just tweeted today, it doesn't matter if your Bitcoin wallet is half empty or if it is half full. In both situations, guys, it's very clear that you can add some more Bitcoins. So buy the dip, buy Bitcoin. And like I shared with you guys yesterday, these drawbacks, these are normal in Bitcoin. Let's take another chart, a really cool one that I saw, saw this morning on Twitter, this one. Bam, yes charts btc again yes i just like his charts i like the simplicity of the charts and how clear they are in this chart you can see the drawbacks of bitcoin during the previous bull runs you can see in 2011 we crashed with 93 percent then in 2012 we again crashed with 62 percent then of course we had a bull run in 2013 but in 2014 we again crashed with 85 percent and then of course we recovered a little bit and then again a crash in 2016 of 42%. To go in this amazing bull run all the way up to 2017 highs and then of course we crashed again with 84% in 2018. And we went up again of course in 2019 and in 2020 there was again a crash of 57%. So can you see what is happening? We crash, we go up, we crash again a little bit less, then we get a bull run, we crash, we go up, we crash a little bit less, then we get a bull run, we crash, we come up, we crash a little bit less, and now, what is next? We should again see a bull run, and I think we are just ahead of this bull run. I'm going to walk around back to the car, guys, because it started to rain, bad weather, so I will keep it short this day. Maybe you can see the beautiful rainbow on the back, and there are still some other people walking on the beach here. They also like uh, walking on the beach while it rains. Or they are also making a YouTube vlog for all the subscribers. 
to keep them happy every day and to keep the YouTube algorithm happy as well because they want me to create videos every day and that's how they push our channel up a little bit more and a little bit more day by day, bit by bit <laughs> because guys, yes, we are already have like 13,300 subscribers or something thumbs up, thanks for all subscribing and hopefully you enjoy the content while I here walk again in the rain working my ass off in a cold Portugal with rain on my face but like you could see at that chart guys yes we are on track we are just ahead of a huge bull run let's take a look at the Didi Bam Bam chart how much profit we made yesterday BAM like you can see we did five trades started with $200 with a leverage of 10 and we ended up with 460 US dollar so that's a 260 US dollar profit I think it's around 130 percent profit just in these five trades following the Didi Bam Bam indicator and the margin call indicator if you want to see the exact numbers we made and just pause the video for a second or a minute and check the numbers and see what kind of longs and shorts we took this is also very educational so you can see why we are taking these longs and shorts with the bam bam indicator if you pause the video you can see these green and these red arrows these green and red arrows are indicating when we enter the market when we long or when we exit the market or when we short so just pause it and check those green and red arrows in the bam bam indicator on the charts the green and the long flags as well and then you understand how we make these profits with the DD bam bam indicator bam let's now quickly jump into the blockchain slash news part the part where I bomb you with cool news that I read today while drinking the coffee and um, it stopped raining so maybe I can rock one more time to the sea if it starts raining again they are playing with me let's go to the blockchain news part BAM first they ignore you then they laugh at you then they start to hate you then they start to fight you and then they give up and that is the moment Bitcoin wins and that is what happened with Bitcoin in the last 11 years and these next few articles that I read this morning are all tied to that subject let's look let's take a look at the first article JP Morgan is saying the same that I said yesterday Bitcoin is slowly eating up gold's market cap there was a 9 billion outflow out of gold there was a 1.4 billion inflow into Bitcoin this will probably happen more and more and more is this market analyst of JP Morgan saying now he is saying Bitcoin will probably be the 21st century of gold and we will see way more inflows into Bitcoin and outflows out of that out of the traditional gold this is now stated by an analyst of JP Morgan the one that laughed at Bitcoin the one that fought Bitcoin the one that hated Bitcoin and the one that now embraces Bitcoin to the fullest with all their employees and their products so thumbs up now for JP Morgan finally you got sense and finally welcome to this new age of the Bitcoin evolution of money also very positive guys is the biggest Spanish bank the BBVA I think it's called B -b -v -a. I don't know how to pronounce it in Spanish or Portuguese bish, 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 ah. probably something like this but this huge Spanish bank the biggest one out there with about 840 billion of assets is now entering the cryptocurrencies market they are going to offer trading and custody services which means you can now directly trade from the BBVA from the BBVA bank uh, with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies but you can also hold your Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies at the BBVA but be aware if you hold your Bitcoins at a bank which bank whatever name how big it ever it might be they have your private keys not your key not your Bitcoin so make sure when you buy the Bitcoins at a bank that you transfer them to a private wallet where you have access to your private keys but really positive that also baby that also BBVA now is entering this crypto space and giving everybody access to Bitcoin first they ignore you then they laugh at you then they start to hate you then they start to fight you and at the end they give up and Bitcoin wins also welcome to this beautiful space BBVA España accepted acceptado cryptocurrencies para días mucho años uh, futuros something like that my Spanish is terrible then some more positive news there is a German bank I think it's one of the oldest German bank out there it was founded in 1754 something like this so the German bank is called Bankhaus von der Heid BVDH so no that's a different one than Spain this one is called Bankhaus von der Heid I think Heid is a little bit Dutch doesn't matter it's one of the oldest German banks and they now created their own stable currency on XLM on Stellar Lumens called Euro B 
I think E U R B, like European Bank, stable currency, something like this. But he created this currency to do all these cross-border transactions, and they are saying like, guys, you know, all the banks they are not going to use T US dollar T or or Dai or Paxful because banks only trust banks, and that is we. That is why we as a bank created an own stable currency on the Stellar Lumens, and that is what we're going to offer all the banks now. So they think they will become the stable currency among the banks something like this but i think it's very positive that these banks are slowly all giving up and understanding that money is evolving money is evolving into the next step of money and this next step we refer to, to cryptocurrency or bitcoin so yes they finally understand after 11 years that money will evolve no matter what this revolution will make sure that we will be able to spend cryptocurrencies all over the world the way we want to we want how much we want and there will be cryptocurrencies that will be centralized and controlled by the governments and the central banks and the normal banks but we always remember there will also be cryptocurrencies that are not controlled and that are decentralized like bitcoins like uh, monero or many other privacy currencies out there like verge like dogecoin you can use all of them litecoin without having any centralized control on your wallet and that's the positive part so just banks and all the other ones keep spreading the word about bitcoin keep joining the huge step and evolution we are making the biggest social economical evolution we have ever seen as humanity yes of course i also need to speak about venezuela because venezuela of course also is using bitcoin now officially to do import and export with turkey and with iran yes iran already announced it a few months ago we are going to use bitcoin now for import and export because that's the way how we can skip the u.s sanctions venezuela is copying that behavior venezuela is going to do import and export with iran and turkey so they all those three that has a, a lot of problems with these u.s sanctions they just now jump over these sanctions by using Bitcoin. This is changing the world. Believe me, it will lead to mining wars and all that stuff. Just like gold and oil has led to wars in the old days, Bitcoin mining is going to lead to wars in the future. And Bitcoin is going to be the most wanted, stable store of value, peer-to-peer -peer cash that every government wants. So it's going to lead to wars. Yes, it is very positive, but even evolution of money also has negative sides. And I think the negative side is that everybody in the future will be fighting about Bitcoin, wanting to have Bitcoin, and to have Bitcoin, they will probably need to invade some countries to invade those power plants that are mining Bitcoins over there, and then they will confiscate those Bitcoins to get the debts back that those countries have in US dollars. Something like this could happen in the future, you know? Who knows? But let's see how this will evolve. I think Bitcoin is becoming a very, very, very important part of this whole monetary system in the world. And yes, also when these aliens come, yeah, they need digital money. They are not going to accept our coins of filthy notes. They want Bitcoin. <laughs> And also the US starts to understand this now because they wanted to make this new law about like KYC and your wallets and everybody needs to tell which wallets they have. Uh, they are now pulling back because there are some uh, lawmakers that say to the secretary, please don't do this because if you are going to, uh, going to make this law, then you know all the companies and all the people will just go away from the United States and the United States will lose then against all the other countries of the world that do believe in the evolution of money. And I do believe in some privacy. So if the United States is going to block all this and wants to have no privacy for their people, um, then they will be fighting against the rest of the world that do believe in privacy. So a lot of stuff happening at the moment in this beautiful industry of blockchain and Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But that makes it an exciting industry to be in, an exciting industry to make videos about every day again for you. That was also everything for today, guys. Yes, there is no family part in this one. And the family part will be online again tomorrow on Gokstein Media. A complete Bitcoin family video without charts, without news, just how we live life. We have a lot of fun switching arms. We have a lot of fun in creating these videos because we love to share our lives, how we live. Just that you see that we are a normal family, but we completely live solely with cryptocurrencies and how it is possible to live a decentralized lifestyle, not owning shit, not owning a house, not owning nothing, not owning a bank account and still live a normal life as a family. 
and I love these episodes. The first two, I really, really enjoyed watching them. I never know what is in it. I just upload a shitload of videos into this folder and then Gokstein Media creates an episode out of it. They are doing a kick-ass job. Um, so let's see what will be in this episode tomorrow. I'm as excited probably as you. So the family part will be in that video. If you want to have more connections to me and the family, join the Discord server because I'm there every day chatting to people, educating them about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. And yes, of course, also about the DD Bam Bam indicator because I still believe this is the tool to become a digital nomad because you only need a laptop, the Bam Bam indicator and some starting capital and you can start to travel the world. If you don't have the starting capital, then we have a solution for you guys. You can start to sign up other people to the DD Bam Bam indicator and for in return for this, we will provide you a bounty and it is bounty you can of course then at the end buy the Bam Bam indicator. That was everything for today. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. If you want to educate me, educate me in the comments. Maybe I can use it in one of my videos. It starts to rain harder, guys. I need to go inside. I want to end the video now. So always remember, please, to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in that life. Try to enjoy life every single minute of the day, as that is exactly what life Life should be about. Thanks for watching again and hopefully see you tomorrow at a new family episode of Gokstein Media. Bam! Hey, my name is Didi from the Bitcoin family guys. Yes, this is how my avatar will look on Blockchain Valley Virtual. We are launching soon on blockchainvalleyvirtual.com so go ahead and check it out.